Hi there guys, Ralph here with 4K Equipment. Today I have iDig's all new Connect series. Um, we have it set up and calibrated on this machine here. This is the CT740, um, the 741 being the larger stick sensor out there. Um, it comes with a new light bar and touchscreen. Um, both cradles are also unique to the 740 and 750 series. And I guess I'll give a general overview of how the system works in general, the iDig 2D machine control. Um, so basically you've got a cab stick, boom, and bucket sensor, and then you have these two sensors here. So for the cab sensor, it's actually hardwired, and we have ours hardwired to behind the seat. The only restriction for that guy is to be flat and facing the boom in line with the boom here. And then we've also got our boom sensor way up here normally installed on larger machines down here just because it's easier to reach and you can take it off then on our stick sensor which doubles as our laser catch we've got right here and then for installation and testing purposes we've got both an on bucket and on the dog bone uh, lever plate here so this mini sensor right here i'm going to pop it out by lifting that lever sliding it out can go in either location um, basically if you have multiple buckets you're not going to want to put it on a bucket you're going to want to put it on somewhere that stays on whenever you switch the bucket but yet still rotates around as the bucket does um, and once again, uh, there's two different methods for calibrating these sensors through the wizard on the touch screen. If, uh, if you end up putting that bucket sensor on the dog bone, that dog bone does rotate at a different speed than the bucket does. Have to use the wizard method. This one you can use the manual method. And I'll be coming out with a video going over the manual mode installation. I already have a video going over the wizard mode installation with a uh, part one and two there on YouTube and then uh, I'll come out with a manual one here shortly. Diving into the iDig 2D system here real quick. Uh, basically just going over how the system works. So on the screen here as you can see it's saying my bucket is jumping around it's one foot off the ground that's because I haven't benched yet over here. So you see my bucket on the ground out there. It's actually about uh, two, three feet below me in the ditch over there. So what I can do is I can click up here. Zero is automatically prompted, so I can hit the check mark again. Make sure you don't get any glare here. There we go. And so now I'm benched at where that bucket is. So now it's saying I'm just around point zero. So as I raise up my boom, Side, we should see the bucket on the screen going up. So now it says I'm about a foot off the ground. My bucket itself is about a foot off the ground. And so how the system works is basically you tell this system where a bench point is, and then you give it a height offset from that, and then you can dig to that height offset. So for instance, um, let's say I wanna continue where the bottom is over here right there all the way back towards me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick where I want to start digging. I want to be flat based off this point. So I've got 0.4, I'm actually gonna zero on this. And so now, I'm trying to get that angle of both the bucket and the screen. As I start digging towards me, you can see on the light bar, it gives me a little heads up, general idea of I'm actually over. Let me zoom in on that for you. So that will actually be green when I'm on what I called finished grade and the same thing over here. So I'm 0.1 feet up. So let me go ahead and keep digging towards me. So now I'm digging down. And it looks like I came up too high. So I'm gonna clear this one out. operating ability here and then we're gonna go back down and it 
looks like I got it pretty close near the next little dugout part. So now, from the front to the back over there, it should all be zero. So basically, where I measured from here, I zeroed on. And so as I dig towards me, I can keep digging that flat ground. Also, in this software, with this slope button over here, we can do slopes towards or away from us at whatever degree we want. And all of these settings for the units are changeable. Um, I believe it's got inches, fractions, uh, decimals for slope. It has degrees, rise over run, all that good stuff. So I can pick a slope towards or away from me. So I can say I want it to come up towards me at something crazy like a 45 degree just so you can see it better on the camera. But as you can see, it's saying from the point on that, straight up 45 degrees, and there's question marks up top because it doesn't know where I need to start the slope. So basically, just like benching at the bottom down there, let's say I wanna start the slope here. So this is the bottom of the trench I'm digging and I want a 45 on the side. So I put my bucket down there, I'm gonna come over to the check marks, there we go, now I'm zeroed at the bottom of the slope, and now as I start pretend digging towards my cab, it's gonna have me keep raising the boom at a crazy 45 degree rate, just to keep it in line here. Let me make sure you're seeing that. There we go. And so as I dig up and towards me, oh, too low still, so now I gotta go up. So I'm half a foot too low, coming up and there. So that's about 45 degrees from that point that I started. And it'll keep you updated on the screen here for a slope. And so basically the reverse works the same. If you go out to an existing site and you want to dig down five feet, you would put your bucket on the ground and then height offset of five feet and then a slope if you want one. Um, to cancel the slope, you just click it and then click level again. And basically it's just a super useful tool to be able to measure from your cab so you don't have to there you have it. There is the intro to the iDig CT740-741 Connect series system here. Uh, that series is upgradable from just 2D to 2D Plus and 3D. Uh, 2D Plus is where it's still using that 2D software with two receivers, one base on site, one on the cab itself, and then you aren't needing to bench with 2D Plus but that does have a lot more requirements as well. And the same with 3D, uh, those 3D files have more requirements as you need uh, 3D files on a flash drive to put them. And that is the basics of the new iDIG system. Uh, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions over the system. Once again, I'll be coming out with a manual mode uh, installation guide. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.